Hey everyone, Kevin Muldoon here. What I've got here is the Moto G5. It is a mid-range superstar. Very cheap to buy. It's in the UK anyway, it's between about £150, £160. Pounds, about $200 or €200. Euros. And it's a fairly good phone for the price. Now what I'd like to do in this video is just show you the default camera app because I think that's something that's important. And despite being a budget phone or a mid-range phone, it's actually got a pretty decent application for the camera. So this is the camera app and a lot of it is standard as you would expect. You know, you've got, it's got HDR, you can switch it on and off, make it an auto, it's got flash, you've got a timer, 0, 3 and 10. You normally get 5 seconds in these apps but for whatever reason you've got off 3 seconds or 10 seconds. You can swivel the camera. Now, when you pull to the, the side, you've got the options here. Now, these are pretty much all the options you've got. You've not got too many. You can switch the shutter sound on and off. There's The option for storage is greyed out because I don't have a micro SD card at the moment, but when I do have one in, it would say phone or in, uh, external storage, and you can save photos and video, videos to the external micro, micro SD card instead of the internal storage. Um, there's a couple of options here. In fact, have I got auto rotate on? Hold on. Yes, I do. Um, there's a couple of options. Why is that doing that? Why was that taking photos there? I don't know what's going on there. Right. There we go. I I don't know why that wasn't pulling over there. Um. Right, so you've got quick capture. So it says twist twice. I'll talk about that in a second. You can save the location. So if you, you want to activate GPS, you can save the location when you take a photo or video. Uh, photo size, so for the rear camera, you can go up to 30 megapixels. You've also got 9.7, 8 megapixels, um, and 6 megapixels. And you can see the aspect ratio changes depending on what you, you select there. For the shutter type, you can actually tap anywhere to take a photo or you can make it so it's only the button. So you can do that or, oops, wrong button there. You can do tap anywhere. So take anywhere. I believe that's taking a photo. There we go. Got it there in the end. I don't know why the menu keeps jumping around. Um, video size, the highest is 1080p, 30 frames per second, and I would advise recording in that format because, you know, it's, it's uh, 30 megapixels in the back, 5 in the front, and, you know, the lower resolution won't be too good. It's not like you're dropping 4K down to 1080p, you're dropping from 1080p down to 720 and VGA. And the video size, yeah, that's what I looked at, right. So when you switch the camera, the options are the same. The only difference here is... The photo size that comes up is 5 megapixels or 3.8. It's saying selfie photo mirror. I don't know what that option is. I was, I was, I don't think it's that. That's like, um, that zooms in. And yeah, I'm not sure on that. I was trying to Google what that was, but I couldn't see anything about it. Um, and at the back, video size is 30 frames per second as well. Now down here, you'll see there's a quick tutorial. Oh, that's very annoying, it keeps jumping around. Look at that, it's going upside down. Right, got it now. So it's showing you how to change focus and exposure, get more or less light, quick capture. Now see this thing that's saying twist twice to open or switch between the front and back cameras. I've been trying this, I can't get this to work. Like by the looks of it, you do this and it will change the, f the other camera. Now I'm doing it. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. I can't seem to get it to work. I think the reason that menu isn't working, right, see that I keep doing that and the menu isn't coming. You can see like HDR, the menu is coming from, I don't know if it's coming from the side. It keeps switching between whether it's vertical or horizontal, despite the fact that, you know, I've not got it in, um, auto-rotate. 
It's got a barcode scanner. Okay, so the I think it's the gyroscope that's in phones. I don't know if that's poor in the Moto G, but it does seem to be when I'm placing it down, it keeps switching between horizontal and vertical. That, that's quite annoying, in my opinion. <laughs> um like, I mean it's completely like why would it go that way? Why would it, it makes no sense? Why is that completely upside down? And I've got it in portrait mode. Okay, um, so the only button we've not pressed yet is this one, and this allows you to switch the different modes. You've got photo, video, panorama. You've got slow motion, which is at 540p. I think it's 120 frames per second. Yes, 540, 120 frames per second. And we've got professional mode, and you get white balance and exposure and uh, focus and everything you would expect. You can actually, there's an additional option here where you can change things like this. Reset it. I don't believe there's any uh, options to save a custom mode, you know, like save any presets. One thing that I do, uh, I do think is quite annoying. Okay, so say so you get photo, right, and you go, okay, I want to take a video. You take a video, you come out of um, the app, you go back in, it's back to the photo. You want to take a panorama. So you've got the panorama app on, someone calls you, you come out, oh, better go back into the app, it's back to photo. Whatever you do, even in pro mode, you're in pro mode, go back, open it back up, back to the default photo mode. Now, I, th I, th I hope that there's a setting or a way to stop that from happening. There doesn't seem to be. I can understand that they want to keep it in photo, so if someone takes a video, you know, then when they go to take a photo, they don't take a video accidentally. But for me, that's quite annoying because if I'm out there and I'm shooting videos, what it means is I need to go out and every time I load this app, I'm going to have to always ensure that I change it to video. Record a video, put it in my pocket, back out, oh, I need to change it back to video. I find that annoying. Uh, it's kind of got like a user-friendly um, menu system though. I think all of that's quite good. There aren't too many options, but there's a few kind of tricks there. What, I don't know what's happening with the gyroscope thing. It, it does seem to move around. When I set it down, it, it, it was moving, like this menu was going left and right, and then I don't know, see there. It's coming from there now, which is, I wouldn't do that because why would they put the, the menu next to the, the physical, the home and back and menu button for Android? Seems silly to put it there. So... I don't know that that isn't a problem with the camera app per se. I think I think that's more of the way that this keeps rotating around. So so when when it faces the wrong way, like when it, when it's vertical, I can see that menu. When I put it down, if you see the HDR facing vertically, right? Okay, so now it'll be for there, but you can see it doesn't really come out. So all right, now it's that side. That that's that's. That would drive me up the wall. That would drive me absolutely crazy. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. There doesn't seem to be a way to disable it. And you can see that I've got in portrait mode. So, you know, I can understand if someone holds it like that, then, you know, it would come from there. That makes sense. That does make sense. But when it's down, I'd, you can see my frustration. It just seems to be poorly implemented in that respect, in my opinion. Perhaps just because I'm setting the phone down, I don't know, but it does seem a little bit annoying. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope those of you who are thinking about getting a Moto G will find this helpful because, you know, there's lots of photo apps out there you can download from the Android store, but most people do end up using the default app because it's the one that's optimized for the cameras. I hope you have enjoyed this quick little video, and until next time, thanks for watching.